There are a lot of airplanes still flying with older avionics and instruments that need updating. And typically that can be very expensive because of the time needed to certify a dedicated product. Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics has developed a solution with a new innovative approach and it's called the Flex Custom Function Display. Today we're speaking to Todd Winter and Brett Williams from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. So Todd, what is Flex? And why did Mid-Continent feel the need to bring this new product to market? Our Flex gauge is a new category of instrument called a custom function display. And that is different from a multi-function display that we may have been familiar with in the past but it is a custom function display. And what does that mean? Well, it is glass oriented, it is a glass display, but it can be almost anything that you need it to be. And that makes it very interesting, but also a little bit difficult to describe. Um, Midcontinent has been in the business now for almost 60 years and we have produced and custom designed literally hundreds and hundreds of, of gauges for OEMs and other applications, fuel gauges, vacuum gauges, uh, very well known for gyroscopes in the past, turn coordinators, attitude indicators. And then we moved into the glass world with our SAM uh, standby attitude modules, airspeed, vertical speed, all on glass. Well, the Flex basically is a, a bit of a child uh, born out of that concept bringing together everything that we've learned about software technology and certification, um, hardware design, using glass displays, and uh, last but certainly not least, requests from our customers who are having trouble replacing functionality of either specific indicators in a cockpit or needing to display information in a panel that uh, they don't want to include maybe in a primary display, but it's still something that they need in a very specific location with dedicated information for the pilot. So we've, we've taken, synthesized all these things from the past and brought it into the future with Flex and have a means to supply a customer with a, a product, a very lightweight, reliable, highly certified piece of hardware and then a custom display interface that can help it display the information that they want to uh, in a manner that, that they prefer. Um, all that under a kind of a streamlined bring to market process that saves a lot of time and a lot of money compared to doing a custom design of either an analog indicator or a, a glass display that's dedicated to uh, uh, specific function in the aircraft. Brett, could you give us a, an example to, to help people understand of, of an application where a flex would really help out a customer? The way we custom uh, customize the function is a, uh, it's a function of the input that we have available to the product. So uh, if you've got a analog voltage input, if you've got an air rank serial data input, uh, even if you have a, a pneumatic, like a pedostatic or a pressure type of input, we can use that to create an instrument uh, that could either, like Todd said, replace or um, possibly create a new opportunity in an aircraft. And that could look like an altimeter, uh, it could look like an airspeed indicator, it could look like a, uh, a cabin pressure uh, indicator and monitor. Um, those are all, all sort of pressure applications, but on the electrical side, it could be uh, master caution type of indicator. Uh, it could even be something as, as simple and straightforward as an oil pressure gauge, an oil temperature gauge. Um, it could be a tachometer um, for you know a, a piston engine or uh, or a turbine engine. So lots of capabilities in terms of the types of instrumentation and functions uh, that could that it could represent. That's just a a small handful of examples of all the different things that it, it could be. But Todd, you could also use it to control things as well, right? Yeah, it's, it is amazing uh, what our engineering team 
uh, was able to include into this product. And, and this whole thing is, is designed from, um, from beginning uh, right here in Wichita, Kansas. So designed, built here in the U.S. But uh, yes, it can function as a controller. It's very compact, but it does have uh, quite a few inputs and outputs. And those inputs can be data streams of various types like RS-232 and AirInc. Um, and it also has definable outputs, but we can use voltages. So um, we use a, uh, a single knob, which we've used on other products. We know how important a, a good knob, tactile feedback and control is to the pilot. And you can use that under a, a pretty straightforward, you know, turn and click um, scenario, which for the right application works out very good. It's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you know, one of the things that I ha am a little bit focused on is uh, cabin pressurization. Um, and that's where you need, you know, a controller. I've, I've flown in different aircraft where uh, the pressure controllers are maybe dated, um, maybe not giving the pilot quite the control they might like to have, or maybe not all consolidated into one point. But yeah, we can we can process information coming in. It, it's a digital converter, so we can have information coming in and synthesize or or convert things, do a converter process, and send other information out to control a, a system. And that could be an existing system like pressurization or maybe even interface to an autopilot or roll steering or, or to another computer. Or it could be used, you know, now that we have this, it could be used for other applications that we haven't even thought of, um, but that some of our customers, OEM or an STC partner would say, oh, this is exactly what we need here. And this is a, a really... Uh, convenient yet reliable and certified way to move forward with that. So, for example, uh, I could I could design a fuel gauge that has a clock and maybe a, a fuel timer all in one, right? Do you have the opportunity to decide which things you want to group into one of these displays? It's very compact. It fits in a standard two and a quarter inch uh, instrument panel hole. Um, I expect some customers will probably install more than one to get the functionality that they really want. But yes, you can combine things that make sense. So Brett, can you talk a little bit about why it's gonna be simpler and easier to develop uh, the, the end result of this product because of the way it's certified and the underlying hardware and software are certified? Yeah, that's a, a good point. Uh, so Todd talked about sort of the history uh, that we've had with products uh, over the years and, and certainly with all of those different instruments and indicators and gauges uh, with each new variation comes uh, time and effort right, when customers come and say, I like that, but I'd like to change uh, a little, little something about it, or I'd like to add a, a new color, or a new range, or a new uh, slightly different feature. Um, those are all within the realm of possibility, but but they take time and they take effort. And a lot of times, uh, uh, you know, those are, those are challenging to overcome, particularly for low volume uh, programs or applications. And so we were looking to solve that problem. Uh, and, and one of the, the big obstacles to doing anything quickly in aviation is certification, uh, where aircraft need uh, a certified in instrument to make the installation certification easier, the SDC, or the, the DC at the OEM level, um, that, that becomes challenging. And so we wanted to bring a fully pedigreed and certified product uh, ready to go out of the gate. And so the hardware and software are FAA, TSO certified. Um, the software even to a to a design assurance level of A, um, so it definitely doesn't present any obstacles to going into even the most stringent uh, aircraft and platforms. And so with that sitting on the shelf ready to go, um, it significantly uh, speeds up the development process by starting with that off-the-shelf certified product. And then once we engage with the customer, it just becomes a, a collaborative effort to discuss what are their needs, uh, how do they want to display it? 
Uh, in many cases, we can work out a concept within a few days. Um, we can even have them uh, a, an evaluation product within a week or two. And uh, if it works out and we continue to overcome whatever questions and changes they might have, uh, they could have a fully functional product that's certified and ready to go, you know, in a month, maybe, you know, two at the most. And and that's a completely new paradigm shift for custom product development. It really takes it from sort of the traditional uh, expectation of, you know, months, if not years in some cases, uh, now down to the possibility of doing something like that in weeks. Really a, a kind of a game changing opportunity. And Todd, there must be a, a fairly large market for a product like this, at least in terms of legacy avionics and equipment that is just no longer repairable cost effectively? Yes, as you mentioned, there, there are a lot of aircraft. There are hundreds of thousands of instrument panels that probably need something to be replaced or improved. Um, uh, but then again, there's uh, OEM production coming out and this, this product, you know, can even go in a galley or, or it could even go back in the cabin, you know, for passengers, uh, to display some information for them. So we're not really sure where the, the biggest, uh, reception is going to be. We expect pretty strong, uh, success in both markets. So, uh, again, it's, 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 it's really fascinating because there are so many different things that it can do. And, you know, I've had very experienced pilots come to me in the past with like an idea for a new instrument. And uh, unfortunately in the past, I've had to say, boy, you know, that would be very difficult to execute um, regardless of whether it was going to be a glass display product or, or some kind of an analog or a hybrid technology because there are hybrids between analog and digital. And um, we've had to kind of pass on those in the past, but now, you know, if, 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 if the opportunity's there and the justification for the return on in the, the investment, because there is a bit of an investment to doing this, but still in most cases, it's probably, you know, it, it's not gonna be for a single aircraft, but then again, you know, we do things for a uh, single aircraft too, uh, in some cases that are just super critical and that's what they need. But it's most likely gonna be a group of aircraft, a category, uh, again, an STC program for an upgrade or change or an indicator or a controller that somebody else needs uh, for their product or like you said, an OEM retrofit, um, like fuel gauges, uh, something of that nature where uh, an OEM just really needs a replacement. And um, we do still build a lot of analog gauges. Most people would probably be very surprised, but there aren't a whole lot of companies out there that do still offer that um, capability. So this, this will give an option to keep those aircraft flying. So Brett, can you explain what it means for the certification level on the flex? Yeah, the, uh, the unit is FAA and EASA TSO certified. Um, it's certified as a display. It's certified with its pneumatic and its electrical inputs. Uh, it includes a whole bevy of DO-160 environmental certifications. That's your, your vibration, your humidity, your temperature, your uh, electrical uh, certifications like lightning and uh, radio frequency emissions and things like that. So it's very high capable and, and ready to go into a number of different environments and uh, aircraft. And then on top of that, the software certification uh, is the highest level possible. It's a design assurance level A. And we did that very specifically because not only is it a core competency of what we do and the avionic products that we provide, but it really prevents uh, any obstacle from um, uh, installing this into even the highest level of aircraft, whether it's, uh, you know, it could be uh, even a, a Part 23, you know, two-seater, all the way up to a Part 25 transport level uh, aircraft that can take advantage of the, the certification that we've provided for this product. And, and Brett, can you um, give us an idea, what was the reaction from the uh, uh, 
FAA and the you know the regulatory people when you presented this concept to them? Uh, you know the the FAA was really supportive, um, and we wanted to get them involved early uh, because it's a it is a unique concept. It's not something that's you know that's really been out there in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, um, and uh, there are some challenges associated with you know how can I how can we certify a product that could be multiple different things? Um, you know because you're not certifying running as as a single product it, it can be you know and, and it can evolve into multiple functions depending on the customer depending on the application and so we talked about what a certification approach looked like um, we worked together on both the software side of things and also on the hardware side uh, we worked together on the list of TSOs that we wanted to include and and ultimately it was a great partnership you know with our regulatory authority to provide a product that offers that flexibility, but also that level of safety and confidence that we bring um, with an FAA certified product. Todd, would you describe then the Flex Custom Function Display as a blank slate that can become a lot of different instruments? Um, yes, I think I would. I would definitely would say that. Uh, anybody who's going to utilize this is going to put a lot of thought into it. We've already come up with a couple of standard configurations ourselves, uh, like a two inch counter drum altimeter, uh, a battery um, type monitor for True Blue Power. Um, but it's funny you say that because I actually, I woke up at five o'clock the other morning and an image popped into my head, and I'll share it with you if you don't mind. But this is this is kind of what popped into my head. And uh, of course, our product is a lot more sophisticated. But basically, it is a it is that blank slate, and you can we can make it look the way the customer wants. It can mimic an existing indicator. You know, we can use arcs, lines, graphs. We can flash, you know, uh, information. We can enlarge things and and decrease them. But uh, it's just really cool to think of the possibilities. But we're, the challenge will be um, to uh, pilots and engineers out there to come up with some of these ideas of things that they'd really like to uh, to see and have in the cockpit or in the aircraft. Well, the flex looks like a very interesting concept and. I can't wait to see them out in the field. Todd, Brett, thank you very much for your time and for telling us about the new Flex instrument concept. Absolutely, thank you, Matt. Yep, our pleasure, keep in touch. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.